Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to look at what we call Emmet with HTML. So Emmet is basically a powerful toolkit that helps you with your HTML and CSS workflow by allowing you to write code faster and more efficiently. So it will use for you you can use abbreviations and shortcuts to generate HTML and CSS code. But in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Emmet with HTML or HTML with Emmet. So the first way you can use Emmet is for element creation. So let's look at an example. So I'm going to create a new folder here and call it HTML. So inside this folder, I'll create a new file and call it index.html. Now, the first way is to create elements. So the first way we are going to do this is we're going to press shift plus exclamation mark. You can see here it already shows Emmet abbreviation. So when you press enter or click on this, it's going to build for you the element structure. So let's change the title to HTML Emmet examples. So example one is creating elements with Emmet. So let's say we want to create a div. Instead of writing this, and that we can simply just write div and press enter and then your emit is generated. So let's look at another example. If you want to create a div with unlisted elements in it, what we're simply going to do is we're going to type in div ul li and then we press enter. And this is going to create for us a list element. Now the second way to use emit is when we are trying to create multiple elements, for example, we are going to create unordered lists together with um, list items and we want three of them. So what we simply do is we shall create the UL element and then LI and then we use the sign and then say times three and press enter. So it's going to create for us list items without having to write them individually. So the third way is basically by using classes and IDs. So a met with classes and IDs. So if I'm creating a class and it has an ID, for example, main, what I'll do, I'll just type div and then IDs are categorized with hash, which is then followed by the ID name. For example, we go with main and I press enter. So it will create for me a div element with an ID of main. So if we want multiple, what we can do is we can do div, for example, with class, it's normally a dot. So we shall say dot main. And then if we want another container, we can do dot container. And if inside the container you want to put some element, we shall just put the greater than sign and then put h1 with a class of title and then press enter. So it will create for us a div class with a class called main and also container. And then we shall have the class title. This is emit. Now, this is basically to make your coding progress faster. And it really helps you to generate items so fast without having to write each individual item. So before we go that, let's look at one more example. So I'm going to create a div with an ID hero. And then we can give that a class as well, which might be a container again. And then we can create an H2 element and give it a class of subheading. Then we can add UL element and give it a class of menu. And inside the menu items, we can add in list and give them a class item. And then depending on the number of items that you want, you can multiply it. Let's say times five and press enter. And you see you can, you have generated a list items with a Basically, this is how you can use emit items in HTML. 